Hey guys, it's Drew with the Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we'll be talking about the Cax mission that we just got back. Uh, we just got some proof gold back. We also got some really nice coins, uh, a key date walker, a toned Morgan. So make sure to stick around for that. We hope you guys enjoyed this Cax mission. But we're also gonna be talking about what we're submitting to CAC this week, and also the reason why we might be keeping some coins from this submission in our personal collection. But let's cut right to this Cax mission. Alrighty, so taking a look at our most recent CAC submission, it's going to be in the center here. We're also going to be talking about a little bit of everything all the way throughout this video, just to kind of give you guys entertained and kind of walk you through the process of what we've been working on. So to take a first look here, this is the 1922 Grant Commemorative Half Dollar. I like this coin because uh, it had some rim toning on the reverse. I thought this one had a shot at gold CAC, but let's maybe talk about why it didn't. So if you take a look at the back of the head I think there's just too many hits uh, you know it's just too many kind of surface area issues maybe on this coin for uh, John and his team to give it a gold sticker but if you do look at the reverse color of this coin I think it's really really nice and so I wanted to try it out wanted to see if you know my uh, predictions would do well I ended up green stickering it which is not too bad but it would be nice if it were gold stickered um, here's a you know sometimes when you're taking a look at coins like this you want to see what coins you're going to submit next and this one i feel might be a gold cac it's a 1938 d buffalo nickel uh, it's got that peachy bluish toning that you might see um, on buffalo nickels a lot most of the time when i'm taking a look at these i'm i'm trying to look at the cheek to see if it's a full strike or if you're taking a look at the reverse it's kind of the horn and this shoulder here but i do think this one might have a good shot at cac just based on how strong the strike is I don't see any issues kind of in the fields. And so that's where my headspace is on this one. What do you guys think of this coin? Do you think it might have a shot at gold CAC? And the reason why so many Buffalo's gold CAC is because a lot of them just, you know, when they were trying to work out grading and understanding where to place coins in the mint state area, a lot of them either undergraded coins, maybe sometimes overgraded coins. And so now CAC is kind of rectifying a lot of these older holders. Just wanted to remind you guys, we just got a new shipment of shirts. Uh, here's the Morgan Man shirt. And then we also have the Numismatist shirt that's been selling like crazy as well. So if you guys want to check out these shirts, make sure to check out our website at kushacollectibles.com. We have a link for each down below. And the purpose of these shirts is just to make sure uh, when you're at a show or if you're just hanging out with people, you kind of catch their eye, talk to them about numismatics, why you like the hobby, and maybe get them involved as well. But yeah, make sure to check out those shirts. Uh, submitted this 1942 to CAC. There was no sticker PVC on it, so that wasn't an issue. But if you look at the fields, I think they're very strong. I don't know why this one wouldn't sticker, but let's take a look at the obverse of the coin. So, I don't know. if I think the strike is pretty strong. If you take a look right at the date here, 1942, and you see this big, huge gash, I don't know if that would hold it back from stickering. Maybe it's just the haze of the coin. Uh, it, for this one, it's kind of a, a head scratcher. I think this one was a 50-50, but there also is a spot right under states. Maybe that was the reason why he didn't want to sticker this coin. Just a little hazy on the coin, I guess. I'm not too sure. Another coin that I was scratching my head about, but that's just the way it goes. Submitting a coin for one of our uh, friends and collectors. This is a 1936 half, and so when you're taking a look at one that failed, you try to, kind of have to see if this walker might pass. I feel like the strike is, is pretty weak on the head and uh, it's kind of weak on the on the dress of this coin. There also is a scratch out in the right field, so it's kind of a 50-50 shot to see if this one would pass or not, but uh, I'm definitely interested in seeing what would happen with this coin. The luster is still pretty strong on it for sure. Uh, like I said, we submitted some proof gold. We submitted this uh, 1893 proof. Uh, it's graded proof 60. A lot of slide marks on the coin, but just taking a look at the fields, I mean, it's really beautiful. I wish I could keep this coin, but I can't. Uh, over 100 minted of this piece, and the reason why it didn't cack, in my opinion, is because of a carbon spot right there in the back of the hair. It's going to be very hard to see, but maybe I'll throw a true view up of it. It's a green carbon spot, and I don't think they like carbon spots too much. I was talking to somebody that submits a lot of buffaloes to them. And buffaloes get a lot of carbon spots, and he said, yeah, I just don't even submit those because John doesn't like them. 
and it won't pass. And so I wanted to see if this one wouldn't pass just to clarify and see if uh, he was right. But when you're comparing that one to this one, I wanted to take this this coin out, not to send a CAG per se, but just to show you guys the difference in terms of how they look. I think this coin just is, you know, not as, I don't know, it's just a business strike, right? But if you take a look back at the proof, I just love the way it looks. It does cost a lot more money, so that's where, you know, the downfall is. But when you're moving up and collecting, you definitely want to move maybe to proof gold because there's not many minted out there, and I still feel like it's a strong price. And talking about carbon spots, this is a 1904 uh, $20. And so when you take a look at the obverse, I don't think there's too many issues with it. I don't think it would have an issue at cacking on the obverse, but on the reverse, I think it's a different story. When you see the E in America, there's a carbon spot. So I don't think this coin would cack per se, but once again, we wanted to have Adam submit some stuff with us and maybe uh, we'll both learn something from that carbon spot if it passes or it doesn't pass. So uh, definitely a good $20, but I don't know if it would have a shot at passing. Here's one of the big wins of the submission. This is a 1921D uh, Walking Liberty Half. It's great at VF20, definitely a key date of the series. You don't see these too often. The last one in VF20, I think that went to auction, sold for, I don't know, $1,200, $1,300 in 2020. And it wasn't stickered. And when I saw this coin, I thought it was very original. And I sent it in thinking that it was, you know, good for the grade. And it ended up stickering. And it probably added only about $100 onto the value of the coin, but that's okay. Um, I wanted to sell this for $14.50, and now I'm going to sell it for $15.50 because, you know, it's it's not too dramatic, but it does does add some premium for sure. Um, when you take a look at this 95.0, I felt like it had that original look just like, uh, just like the Walker. And when everything's all said and done, I hope this coin stickers when we send it in. I want to send this coin in in the next submission if it doesn't sell in a few days. And so I do think that one is a great candidate. Um, when you're taking a look at these last two coins here, uh, we ha we submitted this coin. We're showing you guys a lot of nice coins in today's video. If you guys are enjoying them, uh, you know, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on what you've seen in this video so far, and subscribe if you're new. And if you want to see coins on our website, if you want to add something to your collection, AkushaCollectibles.com. A while back, to CAC and it ended up passing. The color on the coin is really beautiful. Hard to see in this in this lighting. I need kind of a different bulb, but really nice estimate luster, really nice color. And uh, MS62 CAC, not the greatest grade, but the color is really phenomenal. It's something that we've kept in the personal collection for a while. And we ended up buying this 78S recently and we submitted it to CAC in this CAC submission. And when you take a look at this coin, it kind of has similar type of look to the uh, obverse of the 81S. Nice rich greens and reds and golds. And I think this coin is just amazing. It did end up stickering at, P at, at CAC, my apologies. And it is an OGH holder, which adds a little bit of, you know, a little bit of value to it, in my opinion. It also is toned on both sides, which you don't see that every day with most coins, especially when they're monster toned. And... Uh, the cool thing about this coin is it also has kind of some textile in the, in the purple and it also has this honeycomb look right into the right side of the field and if you look at it on the obverse as well there's some in front of the face i mean this coin is just a monster i'm very happy that it's stickered because i think it'll be a great addition to the set you know i got the 78s now and you have the 81s now um, both ms62 both stickered but they're really nice coins so Thank you guys for taking a look at this CAC submission and the coins we're going to submit in the future. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We want to share these submissions when they come back. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the CAC submission we just got back, the CAC submission we're sending, the coins we're keeping. We would love your input. Uh, subscribe if you're new because we've got a video coming out every single week. Also have shorts just sharing with you what we're getting in. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one.